Can a deadly virus and an ancient root hold secrets to each other's mysteries? In the dance of modern science and traditional wisdom, sometimes the most unassuming characters play pivotal roles. Ebola virus disease, known for its dramatic and often fatal outcomes, has been a significant player on the world stage of infectious diseases. Originating from the dense rainforests of Central Africa, this virus unleashes a torrent of symptoms including fever, severe headache, and in advanced stages, internal and external bleeding. The virus, which first made its mark in 1976, has since claimed thousands of lives, with the most severe outbreak occurring between 2014 and 2016 in West Africa. In the opposing corner, red ginseng, a hero of traditional Korean and Chinese medicine, stands tall. This root, a variety of Panax ginseng that is steamed and dried to enhance its health benefits, has been a staple in Eastern medicine cabinets for centuries. Revered for its ability to boost energy, enhance cognitive function, and fortify the immune system, red ginseng has intrigued the scientific community. Research reveals its potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which play roles in promoting cardiovascular health and potentially fighting cancer. What happens then when the paths of Ebola and red ginseng cross? While they might seem worlds apart, the bridge between them lies in the realm of immune system modulation. The active compounds in red ginseng, particularly ginsenicides, have shown promise in enhancing the body's immune response. This is crucial in the fight against viruses like Ebola, where the body's own defenses are often overwhelmed. Studies exploring the effects of red ginseng on viral infections have noted its potential to reduce viral replication and boost immune activity. This suggests a shimmer of possibility that red ginseng could one day play a role in the supportive care for Ebola virus disease enhancing the body's resilience against this formidable virus. In wrapping up, the exploration of red ginseng in the context of Ebola is not just a study of a disease and a remedy, but a testament to the broader potential of integrating traditional herbal wisdom with modern infectious disease management. As research progresses, the hope is that such integrations could pave new pathways for treating not only Ebola, but other viral adversaries marrying ancient remedies with modern health challenges in the continuous quest for wellness and healing.